Alright, I'm back. I've been running this for 30 minutes. I even hooked up the bridge rectifier to the clamshell and you can hear it slowing down a little bit. And it is producing very little HHO. I have to see what's going on there. See how many amps this cell is actually pulling. It did slow down John Aaron's jazz. I give him full credit for the design on that. And you can see this is just pulling amperage from the back EMF off the two green leads that are the AC leads with only it's tap water but it's softened tap water you can see it's not making too much hydrogen at the moment and I hook it up directly to the battery it's a hell of a lot more, but the big bubbles are definitely popping up here, as you can see. If I can grab one with the fire. Over here, it's pop. There we go, there's a good pop. Anyway, I'm going to take that off. You hear the RPMs go up a little bit. Okay. So what I want to show here... Voltage on the battery. The battery started out at 12. Whoops. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, my son had his uh, book report project. Freshman in high school. We all know how that goes. Um, I did draw some amps for the clamshell cell a couple times. Now this has been running about an hour and a half. It started at, the battery started that's running the Jazz M, John Aaron's first Jazz M. I can't even call it that anymore because he has a new Jazz M. But anyway, uh, it's now at 12 27. It started at 12.34, so it has dropped 700 of a volt in an hour and a half, and that included, you know, pulling whatever amperage came from somewhere uh, to run this cell for, I don't know, what did we run it for? 30 seconds. I did it about twice just to get a couple bubbles and a couple pops that you guys understand that it's making some hydrogen. So I did disconnect that and off we go. I'm going to do some more testing on this. I'm going to keep this running really until I drain the battery. I'm going to see how long uh, it takes to dissipate this whole battery's charge. So, off I go. Keep you posted. You can hear it cruising still. That thing is buzzing. I left the uh, UPC stickers on there just so you can kind of get an idea of how fast it's going too. So, I do have to change the coil, I'm sure. I'm sure it's pulling way too many amps and for what's necessary for these ceramic um, magnets, but, you know, I'm sure somebody will give me some suggestions down the line on how to make it more efficient. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.